बिसमीम् अस्सलाम वालेकुम एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ साउथ शहीर सिद्दीकी आई एम फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बीएस बायोकेमिस्ट्री एंड माय आईडी इज़ डबल ओ थ्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ शॉर्ट प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द टॉपिक फैक्टर्स डेट अफेक्ट इज इट सिक्वेंस द नेम ऑफ माई रिसोर्स पर्सन इज सर डॉक्टर हमाद मजीद इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एसिड एंड देयर स्ट्रेंथ now i am going to talk about factors that affect acid strength generally there are two factor that account for the acid strength one is strength or and other is polarity of the ha bond here h is hydrogen atom and a is some other atom the strength of ha bond is given by the bond dissociation energy the bond dissociation energy is the amount of energy required to dissociate h a into an h atom and an a atom the other factor which is polarity increases with an increase in the electronegativity of a and is related to the ease of electron transfer from an hydrogen atom to an a atom to give an h positive cation and an a negative anion in general the weaker and more polar the h a bond the stronger the acid now look at the hydrochloric acids like hf hcl hbr and hi electrostatic potential map show that all these molecules are polar with the halogen atom being electron rich shown in red color and the hydrogen atom being electron poor shown in blue color the variation in polarity in their in this series across the group however is much less important than the variation in the bond strength the variation in bond strength you can see that decreases markedly from 570 kJ mole kJ per mole for hf to 298 kJ per mole for hi in general for binary acid of element in the same group of the periodic table the ha bond strength is the most important determinant of acidity the ha bond strength generally decreases with increasing size of elements a down a group so down a group acidity increases for h a here a is halogen like fluorine chlorine bromine iodine the size of a increases from fluorine fluorine to iodine so bond strength decreases and acidity increases from hf to hi here is the chart of comparison of different acid in a halogen group you can see that acidic strength degree increases down a group next for binary acid of element in the same row of the periodic table which is in the same period of the periodic table changes in the hydrogen h a bond strength are smaller and the polarity of the h a bond is the most important determinant of acid strength the strength of binary acid of the second row element for example increases as the as the electronegativity of a increases that is from left to right now as the electrostatic potential map shows the carbon hydrogen bond is relatively non polar and methane has no tendency to dissociate in water in h3 positive and ch3 negative ions the nh bond is more polar but dissociation of nh3 into h3 positive and nh2 negative ions are still negligibly small water and hydrofluoric acid however are increasingly stronger acid oxy acid which contain oxygen atoms such as h2co3 hno3 h2so4 and hclo have the general formula hnyom where y is a non metallic atom such as carbon nitrogen sulfur or chlorine and n and m are integers the thing is y atom is always bonded to one or more oh groups it and it can be bonded in addition to one or more oxygen atoms here are some example of oxy acids because the dissociation of an oxy acid requires breaking of an oh bond any factor that weakens the oh bond or increases its polarity increases the strength of the acid two such factors are electronegativity electronegativity of y and the oxidation number of y in a general reaction 
for oxy acids that contain the same number of OH group and the same number of oxygen atom, AC strength increases as the electronegativity of Y increases. For example, the acid, acidic strength of hyp, hypohalous acids HOY, here Y should be Y could be chlorine, bromine, or iodine, increases as the electronegativity of the halogen increases. Here the electronegativity is comp is compared with acidic strength. As the halogen atom become more electronegative, an increasing amount of electron density shifts from the OH bond towards the halogen, thus weakening the OH bond and increasing its polarity. As a result, the pore proton is more easily transferred to a solvent water molecule, and so the acid strength increases. For oxo acids that contain the same atom Y, but different number of oxygen atoms, acid strength increases as the oxidation number of Y increases. The oxidation number of Y increases in turn as the number of oxygen atom increases. This effect is illustrated by the oxo acids of chlorine. Here you can see hypochlorous, chlorous, chloric and perchloric. Uh, and oxygen atom increases by one each time. For example, in hypochlorous you have one oxygen, in chlorous two, in chloric three and in perchloric there are four. And similarly, oxidation state of chlorine, oxidation number of chlorine is also increases. It goes from plus 1 to plus 7. As the number of oxygen atom in HClOM increases, an increasing amount of electron density shifts from the chlorine atom towards the more electronegativity, electronegative O atom. The amount of positive charge on the chlorine atom therefore increases as its oxidation number increases. The increased positive charge on the chlorine atom in turn attract, attract, attracts an increasing amount of electron density from the OH bond, thus weakening the OH bond and increasing its polarity. As a result, the proton is more easily transferred to a solvent water molecule. Another factor that affects the acid strength of oxoacid is the relative stability of the corresponding oxoanions, the ClO negative M. M represent the integers, anion becomes more stable as the number of oxygen atom increases in the series. For example, you can see in comparison, because a larger number of electronegative O atom can better accommodate the anion's negative charge. As the stability of the anion increases, the corresponding acid has a greater tendency to dissociate. Well, that's all from my side. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.